There we go. <laughs> Lynn, what would I do without you? <laughs> hey, my name is Kurt. I'm a dad who draws and welcome to Monday Afternoon Live. We always get together. <laughs> we always get together on Monday afternoons and we learn to draw together at two o'clock in the afternoon Eastern time. If you're interested in getting some great community support, I would encourage you to join our uh, Facebook group. You can find the link down in the descriptions. Uh, it's growing leap by leaps and bounds, but uh, it's a great place to find community, post your work, get some feedback, and it's, it's just awesome. So I cannot recommend that enough. But anyways, I am a dad who draws and you are here. And for the next hour, we're going to look at this picture. And I'm going to show you uh, some common mistakes that people make when it comes to drawing reflections and two things that you could do to really sharpen up your game. OK, we are live. So if you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments. Lynn is in the house and I see Sharon and AJ just popped in. So let's get to work. OK. <laughs> so here we go let's uh i have this picture and first thing i always recommend when we draw these live draws is don't go don't go too big in your picture make it make make it small okay because we're gonna cover a lot of ground so don't do anything over what's this what's this size right here this might be uh let's see if i let's see if i have a ruler in here quick you don't but I'll tell you, uh, five by seven, uh, eight, eight by five. Don't go anything bigger than that. Keep it small and you should be able to uh, keep up. If you go much bigger than, you know, uh, a uh, eight by five or something like that, uh, it's going to be hard. So uh, keep it small. And I see that Savage Rebel just, Rebel just jumped in and, and gave a shout out. Good to see you as well. All right, let's get started. So first thing I want you to do is uh, go ahead and let's go ahead and just create a some type of uh, border treatment. Having a having a border always helps to uh, helps us with measurement. OK, and we could just use that lightly kind of gives us a wall, uh, an edge to draw to. One thing I do see a lot of beginners make a mistake, and I do say that this to make a mistake, is drawing to the edge of your paper. You really want to always leave a little bit of space around around the edge there. So it just gives you a place to turn the page without getting your thumbs on your notebook or, or anything like that. Also, on, on that note, uh, let me grab this right here. Uh, I recommend that if you aren't using an iPad or anything like that, get a spiral bound spiral bound notebook. It really is the uh, it's it's my favorite kind of notebook because it just lays flat. All right, all right. We got our uh, we got our border in here. Let's kind of break our drawing down now into segments. All right, into smaller shapes. So let's start off with looking at. Let me bring this up that I can uh, have a little bit of tone to show you. Let's start and and break this down as far as like the, this, this uh, pier, okay? So right here, this is the top of the pier on one side and then this is the other side. So let's look at our box here. And I'm gonna just kind of put a little a little dot, right? Right about there and on the other side, I'm going to come down just a little bit lower than that. And so with this, I can. OK, nice little angle there for my pier. Let's drop down and get the, the height of our pier in the background. And look at that. It's right. There's the bottom part there. And then this this is going to be the bottom part right about there. Let's put that in as well. So. Let's see, that's gonna come down maybe about, right about there. And then it's gonna be right up there and we could bring that together. Okay, now that just helped us to determine our vanishing point on the right hand side. And we'll use that when we draw our, our, uh, our house in the background there. 
<clears throat> okay, next line. If I go too fast too, just give it say something in the comments and we'll we'll jump right onto that. Okay, on the let's get this uh, where the ground comes in contact with the uh, draw the wet and the ocean right there. All right, so look at that little. Let's put a little mark over here, and then let's see. This is going to come up right about there. That that's about right where the land ends on that side. So let's let's put a little mark there as well. So it's going to be right about here. Oh, what's going on? Why isn't that wanting to work for me? Uh oh. Hold on here. What just happened? <laughs> Gotta just roll with these things, right? Oh no. Tell me. Alright, time out here. This has done this before. Okay, that's still working, so. Oh, there it goes. Okay. So right about right about there for the ocean there. And let's go ahead and draw a light. Keep these lines light. This is going to be our our shoreline right there. All right, let's go ahead and move toward the top of our drawing and get this uh, get this house in first. Okay, so whenever I whenever it comes down to uh, drawing a house, I always draw my verticals first before anything, and I draw the vertical that's closest to me. So in this case. Let's change this to be green, maybe. Be, maybe that'll be easier to see. In case it's it's going to be that vertical right there. That's the closest vertical. So let's go up to our drawing and and guesstimate. That's that's not quite center, but just off center a little bit. And we'll just put a little vertical. We're not sure how high we're going to make that yet, but we got the position right there. And then we're going to put that vertical in place, and we can. Look at that, that vertical in place, and we can even put that vertical in place. So when you drop these, just pay attention to the distance, okay? So let's see here now. So we're going to maybe right about there, right? And then I'm going to come down here, and we'll... It's going to be a little bit higher. Okay, so there, there are my four verticals. Okay, now on this house, if you notice, you can't see really the bottom because the uh, we're at a low angle and we're looking up at it and it's being covered by the uh, the dock there. But we, we sure can see the top. So let's take a look at this. This is the angle that we're looking for right there. So let's jump over to our drawing and I'm going to say, okay, there's the there's the height of that corner. And then it's going to go back. There it is right there. And you can, there's some leeway in this. Now, that corner right there, this is going to be parallel almost slightly. It's going to slightly be parallel. It's, it's going to fan, uh, fan out a little bit from that from the dock below and what I mean by fanning out is like this these things are fanning out you see what I'm saying and then and then once we get to this line we're gonna let's come up here a little bit further and and then this is also going to fan out so this is gonna go to the vanishing point these are all gonna converge to the same vanishing point off in the distance Okay, let's come back to the front here and draw a little X. This will give us the center, the center of that uh, square there. And then go straight up from that. And then watch this. I'm going to make a corner there. And I'm going to come back down the other side there, just like that. Okay, let's 
let's jump over to this uh, other side here. And let's make an X over here as well. This will put an X over there straight up. Connect those two. Just like that. We'll give you a minute there to catch up. Okay, where the peak is over here, you see the peak over there? This is going to, look at this, right? You see this? This is going back to the vanishing point somewhere. This needs to come back in the same, go to the same vanishing point. So you kind of want those to eventually meet up somewhere on, way off the page, but we don't need to know where that is. We could just kind of estimate where it's at. Let's jump to the peak of the other other building and this also is going to converge somewhere off to the right there. And this will be a slight change from the picture, but for our purposes, I think that's what's going to be okay. Where this bottom line comes in contact with this larger building this is the end of the roof, so we want to we want to come up just like that. And this this little corner right here, I'm gonna make it a little bit darker. This is also gonna go back to the vanishing point. And then somewhere, and this is up to you to decide, you're just going to come up straight. That's the back end of the other building. And then follow along there and get the, uh, the top part of the roof. Then you could, I'm going to take my eraser and just kind of <clears throat> erase some of these extra lines that I don't need. So that little process that we went through, that's a pretty common, uh, that, I find that to be the easiest as far as when it comes to uh, drawing buildings. So uh, it, it's it's a great way to do it. Um, it's something to practice over and over again. So when you find a building, if it's generally pretty simple style of building, pretty common, you should be able to master it pretty quick. So let's get some of the just the facade here. So let's. I'm going to erase some of these lines over here. Okay. So let's see. We've got a some type of big door over here. You see this? This far side, I'm going to add a little, little thickness to it. That's going to suggest a shadow. And there will be a little thickness over here as well. A little bit of an overhang of that roof and I'm just because it's in the distance I can get away with not actually drawing it but just adding a little thickness there to suggest it <laughs> don't you just love technology I do <laughs> oh boy all right little little window up there maybe what do we got we got another window right right there and then I, I think there's a window over here as well. Now the, 
Now the one thing on this drawing and you've got to be aware of is where your lighting is coming from and I'm, it's quite obvious the lighting is we're looking right either at sunset or sunrise and I have a feeling this probably is sunrise because there's just not a lot of activity here and so um, the thing is the sun is going to be pointing right at us and so uh, a lot of these things the shadows would be right at us but let's let's make some adjustments here slightly okay because we're going to adjust our lighting a teeny bit all right let's let's pretend like the lighting is going to come from this direction here then then we can add some like value and this will help tell our story a little bit all right okay let's let's keep rolling here like i said if you if you have any questions just give give a shout jumping down now let's jump in down to our boat and let me erase these little marks here so we don't get confused okay so this is our first uh we'll go red all right so here's my first mark right there okay and here's my second mark so I'm right about there in the page and I'm going to be over there so let's see if we can kind of figure those out uh, okay so my first mark I'm just going to say it's going to be about right about there and the next one is directly across but a little bit lower it's going to be right about there All right, and this is the other one we want to look for. I'll put this one in green so it stands out just a bit, right? <clears throat> so let's figure out the right position of that. If I come over here and I use like a straight line, okay, th those are almost, those two points are almost right on the same plane. Okay, that, that's actually quite helpful. So let's come over here. And I'm going to put it right about there, maybe. All right, let's go ahead and, and connect that. Just I'm going to give a slight, just a slight curve to it. And then this one is going to come straight down at first. And then just curve around. Really trust what you see. One of the things I'm doing right now is as I'm talking, I'm using the cartoon check. That, that means that I am uh, looking at, I'm looking at this, this point to that point to that point, looking at the relations of those. And then I quickly jump to my drawing. And I quickly jump back to the picture, go back and forth. And I believe just by doing that, that this, this little corner I'm probably too low so I'm gonna come back and make that adjustment and I'm gonna come up just a little bit higher there that's much better now yours might be uh, spot-on so much better okay let's Let's keep going here. I think we're we're really on a roll. This is the the next mark we're going to want to get. And where is that in relationship to stuff? Okay, so that if I draw a horizontal line, okay, that kind of helps me a little bit. Be somewhere maybe right here. 
Yep, I'm going to do that right about there. Okay, now I can come down, come down here to the bottom, the angle of the uh, right there. You see that? I'm going to draw the uh, the bottom bottom line of this boat, and you can see it. It's coming. Oh, right about there, I would say. I'm and I'm making this just a general judgment here. Okay. Let's go ahead and get the inside of the boat now. So starting starting with this corner here. Let's just come in that direction. That's gonna those two are almost gonna be parallel. Then you're gonna bring down this edge right here. And then we're gonna go back to the bow and then connect those two up just like this. We don't need to draw this bottom part, but it just, it helps us to visualize the bottom part of the boat there. Okay, let's continue on here. Let's get this internal, let's get some of the internal parts of this boat in place. So I'm going to come around like this. I'm going to walk right around the edge there. And this is going to be kind of the back seat. In the back of the boat, you're going to have what this is where your motor is going to drop in. So let's put a little bit of an edge there. I think these are called the gunnels that are on the inside. They're kind of the inside frame of the boat. Oh, hey, by the way, while I'm still here, while we're still talking, do, do subscribe to the channel, please, if you haven't done that. And I always appreciate a like. A like or even better yet a comment do you do you uh, are you want to draw more boats or do you want to do seascapes or do you want to do landscapes I'd love to see what you have to say about that let's jump it up now and, and put these other boats in place and I'm just going to we don't have to be as accurate because these are really like um, side views of these boats they're almost at eye level so let's get this blue one in first and here's here is the bow, and it kind of lines up with the back of the house. That's where it comes in from the water, and we're just going to get the bow. And all we have to do really is, for these, I'm just going to do a little bit of an outline. Now this, this white boat that's behind it, let's see, uh, Bob says, can I suggest that the right side of the paper should be the outside line as the boat seems to be a bit squished? Uh, sure, oh, we could do that, I'm game. That's a fine, that's a fine suggestion. All right, I like that. Fair enough. Good suggestion, GM Bob. Okay, let's get this other boat that's in the uh, the white boat, and this is kind of parallel to the uh, to the dock there. So the bottom part where it's going to come in the water, you're going to draw parallel to the bottom line. Then we're going to get the the bow coming up here. Now, 
Now this is an interesting line here. Let me show you this. Don't don't be afraid of this here. You've got one, look at this. You've got one edge of the cabin right there. Then you have the other edge, the far edge of the cabin there. But because the lighting is so flat, the corner, the corner is, is going to be right about there. You see that? So let's let's do this. Let's put this in. So I'm going to there's there's one one corn there's one edge and let's come over here and put the uh, put the other edge in and then there's the bow there's the front end you see that and because this is almost exactly at eye level the top is going to be flat just like that And I'm going to go ahead, because we've already determined our light is a little bit different than the picture, I'm going to go ahead and add a little tone here to help tell me that this is turning the corner. And you can add just some little small details if you want, and those could be a variety of, of little shapes. Some windows maybe over here. You can even add some tone to the bow. Wait till we make our dock nice and dark. As soon as I, uh, uh, as soon as we get these some little tones down here, we add some nice value to the uh, dock. These things are going to really pop. So this boat that that's in front here, let's let's make that just a little bit darker value. Ooh, that's too dark. Then the boat that is uh, between us and the dock there. Don't go too dark, but just make it a slight darker value. That way we'll create some depth and some contrast between those two. Okay, let's go ahead and add some of these uh, pylons, pylons to the dock here. So. This pylon's going to be going in this direction. That goes off the page there. This one's going to be down here a little bit. There's a couple of them back in the distance here. And then this looks like it's low tide. So you have this, this little, the, the mud shelf at the base of this uh, dock. So let's just put that in just like this. Okay, I'm going to redefine the top of that pier just a little bit. And I can see that there's two, almost two levels of bricks. So I'm just going to add that line. And then I'm going to add a tone to the whole bottom section here before I start going into a lot of detail. Now, when I, one thing I am going to do as I add tone to this, um, now this is just a stylized, a, this is a stylized tip. I'm going to make sure that when I come close to these boats, I'm going to leave a little bit of a white edge around the tip of them. 
both of them are going to do it. And you may not be able to see it now, but when we start adding more value to our uh, dock, it should pop off a little bit more. Okay, the bottom bottom area of my uh, dock is a little bit has a darker value. I'm going to go along and, and just kind of draw in these edges of these bricks. And then the top ones as well. And I'm kind of stair-stepping them. Okay, are you ready to have some fun? <laughs> All right, we're gonna add another whole value to this whole dock that we're looking at. I'm just gonna come in here and give a nice even tone across the whole top of it and the bottom. Kind of respecting where those little uh, line, the light lines I put in around those boats. This works, man. Okay, I'm gonna do it again. What? Yeah, we're gonna make this nice. This is gonna have a lot of value here. Don't be afraid of getting dark. Okay, now once once I have a, a nice dark value, now I could go back into my drawing, into that into those areas with some more line work and start defining some of my edges. So let's see here. Let's see, we're gonna have, this is coming down. This is where I think that really, this really prepares you to be a good painter. Because when it comes to painting, a lot of times you're you're making decisions based upon if you want to have a soft edge or a hard edge between values.
now I can go back into my boats a little bit. Rethink some of the edges. Adding more definition to some and less to others. I'll give you a second there because I was doing a lot of fill-in work. Okay, let's let's behind this. Let's jump over here to our house again, and I want to put a little something in the background here. Almost like there's trees in the distance. I know there's houses, but for me, I'm just going to put a value in the background there and follow that up with just some interesting simplified shapes. I have to erase this line because Bob had a nice suggestion so we can go forward with that and you already know where the sun is coming okay let's continue on here uh, let's go ahead and last thing I want to do at the top here before we start thinking about our water is get some of these uh, crab traps in. So I'm just going to very lightly, because you got the sun coming in here, I'm just gonna make some subtle marks. These don't have to be totally accurate. Just look like there's something, something light that's on the dock over there. Okay, remember our, our sun is uh, kind of coming in this direction. So let's let's add a little tone to our boat over here. This side of the boat is going to get some value, and the inside of the boat is going to get some value as well. You know, sometimes when I make my marks, I push down and I pull up so my lines get a nice a nice taper on the end. Push down and I, I pull up. Okay, let's add a little bit of uh, tone to these rocks, the rocks in this whole entire section here. This is going to be slightly challenging because it's such a larger area to add tone and I'm going <clears> to <throat> I'm going to ignore these boats in the background and just make this single boat here And then for these stones, I'm, I'm just going to think about like these little scallop ideas here, okay? So I'm just going to 
and I'm not going to be continuous. I'm just going to make it so it doesn't look like a regular pattern. There's even some rocks that are showing up there. Okay, let's go ahead and get some of these uh, reflection in. Okay, so before we do that, I'm going to bring up a brand new page. And I just want to talk about reflections for a second. All right, so there's, pretend like that's my water, the edge of my water. And if you have a pylon that's sticking straight up, of course, the reflection is going to be also straight down. That's the first thing I want you to realize. If it's coming in at an angle like this, then your reflection is going to be at an angle. It's going to mirror it. Just like if it's going to mirror it this way. So every anytime, anytime you have any sort of angle, the reflection is always going to mirror it. If it's straight up and down, it's just going to be straight up and down, okay? That's, that's the first thing I want you to think about. And then the other thing what I want you to do is, and I'm just going to put it like an eyeball here, <laughs> because what I want you to think about is trust what you see and not what you think. Trust what you see, not what you think. And just really look at the shape and then just draw what you see, all right? Just draw what you see, all right? That's that's my biggest thing. And, and really just kind of like draw the shape that you see, okay? Let's go back now and, and jump into it and see how this works out for us. Let's see here. I'm going to get rid of that, and I'm going to be there. Okay, so let's start with this, this first boat. And look at this. Already there's my angle. And then right here, I'm just going to kind of come up and it's only, you get these squiggles, you see that? So we're just going to, we're going to start small. All right, so there's, there's my boat. All right, let's get this darker boat up here. And this is going to be at an angle as well. Try and match that same value in the water. And again, I'm just... Just looking at the reflection here. We'll come back and add more to that too in just a second. Okay, here's my land. Let's get our land in here. So now, now we can kind of get our uh, our dock in here. Now watch this. Now this dock is going to go. It's going to be a dark value here. Don't be afraid to go a little bit dark. And then right, right when you get to the edge there, this is when you can. Really look closely at how this reflection is happening. Okay, let's add this house.
And at this point, the lines are, the, the choppiness of the water is really, just go slowly. Get it lined up. Even get those trees in. These things should all be parallel. Parallel with the bottom. All right, let's go ahead and get our, our boat in place. And look at this. This is going to be a nice reflection, nice and dark here. There's the center point, the, the, the overlap of the hull of the boat. So we'll want to put that in place too. Oops. Okay. And then, of course, down here at the bottom, since this is this is getting uh, uh, in shadow some of the light here, we definitely want to really sharpen this darker value at the bottom. Now, this becomes a shadow on the ground, not a reflection. Okay, now at this point, you're pretty much got all your elements drawn. Now, now it's just a matter of uh, adding detail, if you want, to certain areas. Redefining your lines, sharpening certain lines up. See, I, I think down here in this, uh, in the gravel here, I can add some more uh, texture and tone. You could, I'm just going to outline maybe some round buoys back here. And I'm, I'm not even going to... I'm not even going to add any value to them because I want to... Uh, 
I want it to still remain like a drawing, you see? Maybe, maybe up front here there's some crab traps or something, right? And I'm just guessing here now. Maybe there's another a buoy over here. I want to add more value to this, all this reflection area. Because I don't want it to compete with the, uh, with the sky, where the sky is reflecting in the water. One, one nice thing about having a deadline, like an, an hour drawing, it's like, okay, well, my hour is up, so uh, <laughs> that's as much as I'm going to draw. I'm going to just sharpen in some of these uh, border lines here. Okay, I'm still not quite happy with these reflections here. So let me just, let me come in here and just add some surface lines and maybe I can get it to where I like it better. All right. Well, I think that's going to do it for me today. Hey, thanks for watching, everyone. Um, my name's Kurt. I'm a dad who draws. Check out more of the videos here. Join our Facebook group. I think you're really going to love it. Thank you so much for every ch everyone chiming in, from Bob to Christina <laughs> to who else chimed in. Uh, we got AJ came in and Lynn came at the beginning. Savage. And I think I end sharing there. So uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Go out there. Make your day great. All right. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.